You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today, I have the pleasure of having Cheryl Opper, who is the executive director, if I'm right? Yes. School on Wheels, Massachusetts. You got it. Cheryl, welcome to uh, Greater Brockton. Thank you for having me today. You got a big event coming up. You we have an event do. to help promote School on Wheels. We'll let you talk about School on Wheels, but why don't we do the kind of the particulars of okay. what's going on, the event, the date, the time, the place, Absolutely. what it is. So we have our second gala coming up on Friday, September the 18th at Lombardo's in Randolph from mm -hmm. 6.30 to 11. And we have a live band, um, Legit is going to be there. We have hors d'oeuvres, cocktails, silent auction. Um, but most importantly, we have one of our students speaking here from Brockton. One of our students who lives at one of the family shelters here in Brockton will be our student speaker. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a student who is studying abroad in South Korea, and it's a secret, don't tell anybody, but we're going to try to Skype him in. Okay. Um, and he has, he's on a full ride scholarship from Bridgewater State, and uh, he, he also is from Brockton. So um, this is our second annual. We had our 10th birthday celebration last year and it went so well we decided to do it again. There you go. You can only have so many 10th birthdays. Yeah. But what I have, and I'm, I'm not going to hold it up and, and mess up my camera, but it says School on Wheels of Massachusetts. You are the key that opens the door to a child's future. What better right. thing than that? Let's talk about School on Wheels for a minute. Okay. And 10 years, you are the founder. Yes. Tell us the, the mission and what it does and why the, the gallery is a fundraiser to support the mission. Exactly. So School on Wheels is a 501c3 nonprofit based here in Brockton and our mission is to help provide academic support services and one-on-one -on -one mentoring for children impacted by homelessness. So we work with uh, children and youth living in family shelters and motels. We also service kids once they move from shelter to housing, we continue our services. But our whole focus is to really help provide the resources that children experiencing homelessness need. The backpack, the school supplies, the school picture money, the um, funds for to play sports or to go to prom or the yearbook. We want our kids to have the same community resources as any other student in that classroom. Mm -hmm. And um, this is very successful. I mean, you're, you've okay. expanded, you started Brockton, but you're bigger than Brockton. That's right. right. So we have expanded to seven communities. Mm -hmm. um, we're in Brockton, and that's where the majority of our sites is. Um, we service um, also Norwell. We're in Stoughton, Randolph, and Randolph's our newest community, and that's why we're holding our event there this year. But we're also in um, Weymouth. We mm -hmm. went to one of the big hotels down there, the Super 8, that has 70 families living in that motel alone. Mm -hmm. But our newest expansion site is Fall River, and we'll be starting there this fall. Wow, so that's all over the place. Um, now, I think in Brockton, places that, I mean, what used to be the Carlton House, which I think is now a roadway, is yes, that one of the shelters? Exactly. And if you think about it, when you're in one of those places, which the state is paying for, mm -hmm. okay, That's right. there's not a lot of services, there's not a lot of facilities right. in there, so I'm sure this lifts people's spirits up Absolutely. so they can, you know, uh, where do you do the tutoring? Is it, is, is, yeah. is it in the individual room? Is there like a conference room or do they come to a site? How does that work? Yeah, so each of our sites are a little bit different, but for example, the roadway in, which used to be the quality in, um, that hotel has a conference room. So we are there once a week and the children come to the conference room and we work with kindergarten all the way through high school. Mm -hmm. and we also have a college access program called High School Plus. So the mm -hmm. kids that are in high school we're working with to help them explore colleges, um, vocational opportunities, and help them not only get into college but support that. Um, as well through their whole college career. So once you're a School on Wheels student, you're in our program for the whole length of time. It's a really deep, customized support services that um, provides everything from the backpack and school supply to one-on-one -on -one mentoring to actually helping kids move into their dorm rooms. And you said it's K through... K college. K through college, okay. So our tutoring is K through 12, and we're actually in, in a great need of tutors right now. We're about 100 tutors short, mm -hmm. and our tutors would choose what time they would like to um, and what day works best for them and what age group they'd like to work with. They would need to complete a three-hour tutor training program, mm -hmm. um, a criminal background check, but we have trainings. Um, if you go to our website, www.sowma.org, you can check out, um, become a tutor and check out the training dates. We run the trainings in um, our office headquarters there at 790 West Chestnut Street. 
and you've done trainings before, if I'm not mistaken, in the Crescent Credit Union yeah, across so from that's Commercial one of our, Street. That's one of our training sites, and okay. it's also one of our tutoring sites. So Crescent Credit Union is one of our strong partners here. Um, Jonah Ween is on our board of directors, but they came to us and offered us the employee training center upstairs. Mm -hmm. So that's a wonderful site that we're able to actually pay for the bus passes for the parents and the children to come. And they, uh, that site is two nights a week, and the children that are living in the scatter site apartments operated by Father Bills and Mainspring, which is another community partner of ours, is um, we're able to service those children and also some of the children that are living in foster care right. as well as kids that are in the motels or kids that have graduated from shelter to housing. Our kids stay with us for long periods of time. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to, we will open this up. All the nonprofits in Brockton can come on Greater Brockton and not just promote a date-specific event like you're talking about, right. but also generic. If you want to get tutors on yeah. or you want to do other things, we'll have you guys back. I have had another yeah. member of your staff here, That's a couple right. of members of your staff here already. That's we great. just wanted to promote your event. I saw it online and I figured, yeah. let's, let's get really the word out there that. over there. Yeah. So um, sell the event. Talk to the people. I think I have less than three minutes left. Okay. Give, give, it a, give it a minute and you be the salesperson for the event. All right. Okay. Well, listen, I have been to hundreds of galas, and nothing's better than this gala. It's fun. It's creative. It's, it's all about the kids. It's about opening the doors to these children's futures. And it's really, we are um, privately funded. It's really up to all of us, I believe, as committed citizens to help these children move forward in their lives and not only just have a backpack and a tutor, but to really rise above their circumstances of poverty and homelessness. And you guys can help us do that by being there on Friday, September the 18th and having a great time. Bring your family, friends, colleagues, and join us. Sounds good. So I'm going to just remind everybody of the date and time. It's Friday, September 18th, 6.30 to 11. So if you're not going to the Brockton High Football Home Opener, you definitely got to be there. It's at Lombardo's in Randolph, 6 Billing Street in Randolph, with d'oeuvres, dancing, support a kid, help a child, and then once you go there, you're probably going to get hooked, so you're probably going to have to go volunteer and take the three-hour training so you can help out students one-on-one. -on -one. Cheryl, lastly, um, I think I have like less than two minutes. What's the amount of time people volunteer? Once they take that three-hour training, what, right. what are they committed to? So we ask them to commit to um, one semester because we have a lot of college students, so um, at least half of the school year. And it's one hour a week, same time each week, going to the same site and tutoring the same student. It's really about mentoring, building that community um, support for that child and helping them understand how important they are and so is their education. Per one hour a week, which you could, you know, yeah. what could you ask for? So um, they gave me the one minute cue. I have a one minute cue. Final thoughts? is that I, I thank you for having us on today and that the Brockton community has been so supportive to School on Wheels and that's why our headquarters is here is that I really believe in Brockton and I believe that we can make a difference in these children's lives and I've seen it we've been doing this for 11 years we've had eight college graduates we see what a difference it makes to have a caring adult to have these kids have the same resources as any other child and so whatever way that you think might work for you please join us for the gala come stuff backpacks with us run a school supply drive be a tutor but get involved and help these kids perfect couldn't have said it better uh, you're watching greater brockton mark lindy your host stay tuned for more events places people and faces right here in the city of champions